Officers patrolling in central London tonight in an attempt to restore people's faith in the force after one of their own murdered Sarah Everard. Earlier, the Prime Minister said people should trust them while acknowledging problems existed in the criminal justice system. I do believe in the police. I do think that we can trust the police. And I, and I think the, the police do a wonderful, wonderful job. But there is a problem. And there is a problem in the way we handle uh, rape, domestic violence, uh, sexual violence, uh, and the way we handle the complaints. Figures just released show that 771 Met Police employees have faced sexual misconduct allegations since 2010. Over the same period, 163 Met officers were arrested for sexual offences, but only 38 of them were convicted following investigation. When Mina Smallman's two daughters, Biba and Nicole, were murdered, there were blunders and inappropriate behaviour by officers, which she believes are an institutional problem. If this was ever an example of how toxic um, the Met have become, then this is it. And we're here again, where we're in the same place. But the Met's approach today to the case of Wayne Cousins, who kidnapped Sarah Everard, pretending he was arresting her before going on to rape and kill her, was rather different. A senior officer suggested women needed to be more suspicious if stopped by police. If somebody doesn't feel safe and they're not comfortable in the environment and they're dealing with a police officer, then ask them some questions. Where are you from? Why have you stopped me? Where are your colleagues? And that way they can start to feel safe. And if they really don't feel safe, they can dial 999. On Clapham Common today, near to where Sarah Everard disappeared, there was disbelief that women were being asked to change their behaviour. I find it frankly a bit ridiculous. You should investigate your police officers properly. It shouldn't be our responsibility to vet your own staff. That's just obscene. How concerned would you be if you were stopped by a police officer now in the wake of what's happened? Now it's happened, I would be terrified and I would be thinking, right, I'm getting away from here. Some say after Sarah Everard's horrific murder, an independent inquiry is needed to ensure police culture changes. I think that independent inquiry is absolutely vital because it's not just about this one case, however utterly appalling it is. This is about what is systemically wrong in policing in terms of the culture. Yesterday, the Met Police Commissioner Cressida Dick admitted trust in the police had been shaken. It may take more than supportive words from the Prime Minister to restore it.